So I just wanted to talk about these like type of brain dead comments I see a lot of. Um, people thinking like certain stuff takes like a certain amount of time to do. Like I, I did an interview with this guy. Um, he did the IT the IT course and he got a job in like six weeks or something, which is really common for that course. Like entry level IT, it pays like, you know, $20 an hour, depending on where you are in the country, like 20 to 30. And it's really good because it, if you can change your career that fast and you get a job for $20 an hour, it's just like you're getting paid $20 to do like training and, and get like experience. It's a really good deal. But people, people seem to think like stuff needs to take a certain amount of time. Um, but that's not really the case. Like, to be honest, like, like you, you go to like a four year school, right? Like a bachelor's degree and you like, you learn a whole bunch of stuff, like random stuff that's like stretched out over four years. And then people's like brain gets poisoned thinking that like, oh, you need to learn something for four years. Like, that's not true. Like you, what happens is you, your, your resume has to be good enough to get an interview. And then you have to know. Uh, what the hiring manager or a panel or whatever it is, you have to know what they expect you to know and then behave well enough for them to like like you. That's all. You don't need to know a bunch of stuff because probably the, the panel, right? They probably know like this much. And if you know like this much or like, you know, the same amount or slightly less or more, it's like enough for, to instill confidence in them to like let them hire you, right? Especially if you're behaving well and you can articulate yourself well in the interview. And with the way the IT course works, especially, is I, I know what entry-level IT people are going to be working with. I, I'm like, I know it because I've freaking like been in IT for long enough. They just want you to know like, you know, if you have experience with like a ticketing system and you've worked with Active Directory and you've done some like basic troubleshooting and then above all else, if you're presentable and nice to people because you can learn all those those easy entry level things, it's good enough. And if you're somebody who's like applying to an entry level IT job that's like 20 to $30 an hour, depending on where you live, and you have like a badass portfolio, right, for an entry level IT person and you look squared away and you can interview well they're they're just going to have a lot of confidence and they're going to hire you, hire you especially for help desk you don't need to go to school for like four years for that and i wish people would like get that out of their brain like, and stop like gatekeeping people and like shitting on them for their accomplishments it's like it's really dumb to see to be honest and if you're like going on youtube and shitting on people who who made some kind of accomplishment to be honest, that it just it's on display that you're lower than that person. Like whenever you talk shit to somebody like um, on the internet, you're automatically lower than that person that you're talking to. So just you know, you don't have to be that way forever. If you're the person who who wrote this and you're watching this, that's not. I'm not trying to define who you are because you can like change tomorrow and you can be like a better person, right? But I'm just trying to get into people's heads like. You know, if the hiring manager and them, they, they know this much, it doesn't take you four years to learn, learn about the stuff that you need to do, to do to like do the job, as long as you can convey it well. And same thing with cybersecurity and same thing with like literally every other tech job. But with cyber, it's a bit harder because, you know, they don't expect you to know this much. They expect you to like kind of know like more and then uh, understand more nuance. But you can go from like nothing to like a security analyst without going to IT. It's possible to do. You just have to do extra work. And f to those like dummies trying to like gatekeep on like Reddit or you know wherever you know you know wherever you are. No offense to Reddit. Uh, maybe some offense. I don't know. It's possible. And there's so many different domains of cybersecurity and IT. It doesn't take like forever for somebody to like you know get the the necessary knowledge to do well in the interview and then learn how to convey it and, and get hired. It just takes longer for cybersecurity. And this guy, this is like completely unrelated. But he's like, but he's like, I am mad. Uh, but these these influence are full of shit. This guy being me. Uh, is on here selling courses, selling courses, which means he sucked at cybersecurity. So I'm, I literally like literally every product I've made on here is be, I, it's something I felt I had to make because either people were asking for it or something like it didn't exist, and I, I felt compelled to make it, like I needed to make it. And the latest product or the latest, yeah, product project, the Cyber Range, I felt I needed to make that. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but. 
Um, there are some like bullshit influencers and people who dump more time and effort into marketing than the actual project product and like fuck those people right they're they're dumb but you can tell like who's a scammer and who's not you can just google their name right and if they've done anything shady like at all it's gonna like come out and be like obvious right uh so he's saying uh, which means he probably sucked at cybersecurity or he or else he'd still be doing it like I didn't suck at cybersecurity who I don't want to do cybersecurity in the corporate world because I don't I don't freaking like it there's like I talk about this a lot on my channel and I don't expect like a random person to go through and like look at all my stuff but this logic is like so bad it's so dumb to be honest um, I can see like if I'm like selling stock secrets or whatever like yeah I should just be doing that right but doing cyber security and then doing like i own like a business i run a cyber range that shit is like hard to do it's technical and security heavy on the back end it's hard to do like most people can't do it so i'm, I'm doing something technical i'm running a cyber range as a business and i didn't suck at cyber security i just didn't like really like to do it right in the corporate world because it's like frustrating and you know i i just wanted to do more stuff and my energy was like getting sucked away by my job so you know a lot of stuff happened and he's like, uh, but people are dumb. People are dumb. They think six weeks is all it takes to get a job in cyber. The person in this interview, like, didn't get a job in cyber. They, were, they got a job in entry-level IT. Six weeks is, like, quite short to get into cyber, especially if you're coming from, like, no background. Um, I won't even say it's possible. It is possible if somebody, you know, you know them and they can, like, vouch for you and you get hired based off of, like, you know, social network. But six weeks to cyber is, like, a bit too fast. Um, no one even said they got hired in six weeks. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but anyway, this is just a ranting video. Um, don't let people like be stupid and gatekeep the things you want to do. Like you don't need, to, I'm going to make more videos about this, but you don't need to know Python to work in cybersecurity. You don't need to be able to code to work in cybersecurity. Like you don't need to know Linux to work in cybersecurity. Like all these things help, but there's such a broad, like there's many domains, right? Like there's like audit and like all this, like other stuff that doesn't require those things. And people are just like talking out of their ass and they're trying to gatekeep and be dumb. Like don't listen to like those people, right? Cybersecurity, it's, it's unregulated. If you pick a domain and get really good at it and have like a God tier resume and you're squared away and you apply to it, you, it's possible you're allowed to start working, you know, in, in under a year time. There's no like legal requirements. So like stop stop being dumb, like gate gatekeeping people and like putting other people down. That's like really cringe. Uh, yeah, that's all. See you later.